If you want to create a formula field which will dynamically store the URL of a record just like lookup, then you're watching a correct video. So simply what are we going to do is that we are going to create a formula field which will be just acting like a lookup. Like if I click on this particular record, it will redirect me to that particular record itself. So that's what we are going to do using formula field. But before we get started, if you are having any kind of upcoming interview and you are not feeling confident enough, then you can connect with me for a mock interview by clicking on the top mid link below. So let's get started. So first prerequisite is that, that if you want to generate this kind of a URL, you should have a lookup to that particular object. Let's consider with a real time example. Right now, I want to create that kind of a formula field on contact object. So first, let's say I want to create a formula field on the contact object, which will redirect me to the account object, right? So first I need to have a lookup to that account object. Well, I know we can do the same thing using lookup itself, but there are certain conditions where you have to use this kind of formula fields as well. So simply first thing first that you need to have a lookup to the account object because you need to redirect the user to that particular record. Or if you want to generate this kind of a formula where you will redirect it to a particular record, you need to have a lookup to that record. In our case, what I want to do is I want to redirect it to the account object, right? Account record or something like that. So first I need to have a lookup to that account a uh, lookup to that particular object for my case it will be account now once that is done you can go to the contact object and you can create your own formula field let's click on new and i'm going to keep it as formula data type as text let's name it as account name form And I'm going to keep the data type as text because of course the URL is going to be text. Now once that is done, see what our basic goal is that what we want is that let's say I want this particular account. Like I want to redirect to this particular account. What my formula field should do is that it should take this URL plus the current accounts ID or whatever the account ID is. I can easily get it from the field itself. I need to do this and then automatically if someone clicks on this URL, they will automatically uh, go to this particular URL and they will get redirected. So that's what we want to do. But now this is static. I want the URL also to be dynamic because I will move my code from dev to queue and other orgs as well. Now to get that particular URL properly. Okay. First you need to do is that API, you need to go to the API and from here API, you need to search for uh, the partner server URL. Okay. Let's go and search for partner server URL 28.0. Yeah, 28. Insert it. Now this is going to have the whole URL itself, the whole URL itself, right? The whole URL itself, including the services at its end. Okay. So basically it will have the base URL and along with that, it will have services at its end like, like this for an example. An example would be okay. Services at its end. So what our basic goal is that first of all, from this whole URL using this, first of all, we are getting the URL. Like if you move this to a QA org, then it will be considering the QA's org URL. Okay. Out of this, what you need to do is you need to get the, this part of it only. Okay. Rest of the part, you don't need it. So basically you just need the base URL and to get that base URL first, you need to get the left side of the overall URL. Like this is the left side of the overall URL, right? So I'm going to use a left function. Let me pick it up from here itself. Right. So first it will be the whole text itself. I want the left of this text and number of characters, like how many number of characters of the left do you want? Everything leaving the services. So for that, first of all, I need to find the services over here. Let me insert it. Okay. I, I think so. I clicked on it again. Okay. Fine. Yeah, we are here. Let me search for find over here. Inside search text, it's going to be slash services. Okay. Slash services. And at this side, what we are going to do is we are going to search it from this target URL. And now using this, we will be able to get this base URL only this part. Okay. We're leaving the services, we're leaving the services word. 
what we using this particular uh, function or using this particular formula we will be able to generate this particular url that is the base url of your salesforce org now this is going to work in every org qa org dynamically okay you will get the base url dynamically now your next job is that you have to attach the account id at its end right so i'm going to from the contact i will pull up, pull up the account id that's the reason why i need the lookup right so i'll pull up this account id and that's it you have generated your url which will have at its end it's going to have the actual record id or whatever the record id might be right so actual record id would be there okay that's what we are going to go to but wait this is just a text we don't want to show someone text like this right we don't want to show someone text like this instead we want to generate it to a url because our field data type is text it will be shown as text but i want it to be url so for that purpose i will convert it to a hyperlink and in that first part of the hyperlink first i need to give the url and that will be this and again of course i'm not going to show the whole url to the end user instead of that just like lookup we don't see the url itself right the whole url itself i don't see this particular url at the lookup instead i see the name of that account similarly if you want to give a friendly name to that particular url you can give it over here which i am going to give it as account name account name and i'm going to insert this okay so at hyperlink this is our url base url plus the account id at it at its end comma the friendly name to that particular url that is account dot name okay let's check the syntax it's all fine let's click on next let's assign this to every user for now let's click on save and i think so i should have that field now available on my layout account name form okay it's not added to the layout but surely it should be available over here okay i need to upgrade it to ah i can see the account name from form from here itself but it's not visible here but yeah sure it will be generating a url proper url and it will also help us to redirect to that particular url itself as well but it's not yeah as you can see this is the formula field that we created this is an account name which is a beautified name if i click on it it will also redirect me to that particular record itself so this is how you generate a url using or a field of a url a dynamic url if you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and subscribe to my channel.